All right, here I am in the blower room. I'm gonna change this blower wheel shaft and bearings. The bear, this bearing was the only one that was bad, but it's frozen in there. I've tried everything. Can't get it out. So, I can't prepare it anyway. I came with a shaft and blower wheel. But sometimes this happens. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up so it's easy to put the blower wheel back on. I have somebody else coming to help out. But with the setup I'm going to prepare, I should be able to do it myself. All right, this is what I made to take the blower wheel out. Like I said, I put a brace back there. I screwed this two by four, which, and I cut this brace here. It's perfectly leveled where the screws should match again. But just in case this little bit gives a little bit here, I compensated for that so I don't have to let go. I made another wedge so I can adjust it. See how I made it cut like a wedge? It compensates for any height that this might give, but I don't think this will give any. So we'll see when it's time to do it. Obviously, I couldn't videotape myself taking it out, but it worked like a charm. It dropped down, and I slid it down and took it out. Let's see how it goes in. That's the tricky part. Okay, I have the blower wheel out. This is the bearing side that was bad. So, the, usually the bearing doesn't come out. That's why I had to get the blower wheel and the shaft also for this job. So you can have to cut the shaft. And then they're so rusty that if you start banging out the blower wheel to get it, to reuse it, you mess up the blower wheel and unbalance it. So that's why we got blower wheel, bearings, and shaft. Okay, there's the new blower wheel. There's the old one. Because you can see the shaft that's cut. There's the new blower wheel. And there's the new shaft. Okay, it worked pretty good. Really good. I slid it back. And I got those two screws in the back first. And now my blower's in place. Now I gotta do is use the, the wedge, pop it up, and it should everything should fall in place. Worked like a charm. See, I only got those two screws back there on that brace. That one. And that one. I have nothing holding it up there. Just my wedge. Okay, as you can see. It's not being supported anymore. Perfect. Now I'm just going to put the bearings in and align everything. I wait that for last because that way I know where my other pulley is going to land. And that's super easy once I have the shaft and blower in. Then I got to put the keyway on the shaft and align the blower so it doesn't rub on either side. It's best to leave that for the end. Okay. It's all in. All the bearings are tight, everything's tight. Make Always make sure your keyways are in, in, because if not, your blower will spin out of place. And here we go, quiet, as in, no noise.